morning duelists good evening good afternoon how are we doing today scatters in chat right now <laughs> uh rod thank you for the 12 months appreciate you that's a full year thank you so much welcome back all right everybody we've got a duelist cup to grind today We've got some new cards as well. So today's gonna be fun. There's not it's nothing uh it's nothing too crazy. We don't have too many things today. It's gonna be relatively simple. We just look at new cards and play the duelist cup, but it should be fun. It should be fun. Assemble if we ray in the duelist cup, else we scatter. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna play yet. Like uh I, we can play a little bit of everything, I feel like. Uh, we can, uh, we can just swap decks in between and play a little bit of, of whatever, you know? I, I don't actually mind whatever we're playing. Alright. Let us do some warm-up. I already saw that you guys had a prediction for, um, how the warm-up is gonna go, and some people did actually believe, which is wild. Anyways, let's go. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Um, Trident Warrior. No. Cool. I thought that's what it was. Tatakawa Knight. That's what I said. Scammed. Uh... <laughs> This is the, the guy that searches Legendary Ocean, Atlantis, Warrior of Atlantis. That's Tulahan. <laughs> I'm not gonna cosplay Ray. No. No. No, also don't unban Kidclos. What's up with the sub messages today? How unhinged are you guys? <laughs> uh, that is Knuckle. Uh, that's like Apple Magician. It's one of the Magician Girls. Berry? Oh, come on. Is it lemon? French open hype. Oh, right. French open is this weekend, right? Uh, that's Shamal. Um, is that a hieratic seal? I'm not sure. It might be. I think so. But I don't know what it's called. Banishment. Mm. Uh, Fire Hunter, thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, is that the Mayakashi floodgate? The trap that they're sending? No, it's not. I actually thought it was. That's a Goki. Blade Ogre? The Blade Ogre. This feels familiar. Oh, that's uh, Gemini Pearl. Triggering worm. Okay. Uh, is that thing Kirsu? No, it's it's uh it's it's some Orcus though. Orcus Trion. 
Brass Bombard? Oh, that's the one. Okay. Uh, I think that's Fire Fist Dragon. Yeah. I believe that's some... Is that Draco Quist? Probably Reptilian. I'm not very good with them. Maybe Lamia? No. Skilla. Skilla. Okay. Uh, this is like something of chaos, right? Like, um... Master? Is it Master? Might be Master. Yeah. Oh, this looks familiar to me. Some Bujin stuff. Mahitotsu. Yeah. Uh, Preda Plant Bufu Likula. Right? Yeah. Musketeer, Doc, Gallant, Ignite? Oh, that's an Ignite? Really? Okay. Uh, Amphibian Beast. Uh, Tebow, thank you for the sub. Appreciate you. I'm going to skip the Lavalval. I'm not very good with them. Logus. Uh, getting... Maybe Marincess, but I can't tell which one that would be. No, wait, is that an Altergeist? No. Reese Bell? Nah. Diamond Bell. Okay. I haven't seen that one. That is something Cosmo. Light Sword. No. Uh, Rocket Warrior. Um, I believe that's that's the this one. Yep. Okay, that's Agido, but not on Agido. I don't know what that card is called. I don't know what that card is called. Soul Crossing. Uh, Flubbles, thank you for the Prime as well. Appreciate you. Thank you for the support. That's another Bujingi. I think that's Bujingi Crane. Yeah. Uh, this is like Doll of... Is this Malice Doll of Demise? Please. Yes. Okay. Uh, this could be dual avatar, the token spell. Invitation. Yeah. I'm, pl I'm pretty sure that is the token spell. Okay, and that is just Titanic Lad. Yep. Uh, Theseus. Let's 
Skull Invitation. A rice heart. I don't want to talk about it. Sacred tombs, tombs, something, tombs, throne, Necrelli throne, that one. Uh, Hello, Tail, thank you for the two months. Appreciate you. Melfi? No, uh, Plump. Ghost Trick vibes. Not Ghost Trick, actually. That's a Romage um, Rosemary. Mm. Don't think I know this one. I don't know what it's called, no. Oath of Companionship. This? What is this? Have I seen this one? Is that an... Well, oh, I don't know what that is. Mechanical Arc... Arc Fiend. Okay. Uh, that's Zodiac Combo. That is Power Well. That I don't know. Hexa Saucer. Uh, what could that be? This looks familiar. What is this? Vendred Savior? Vendred Savior. Some crawler legacy, world legacy stuff. Yeah, no shot. Uh, Toon Table of Contents. I think that's a hero. Yeah, it is. Koga. Okay, we're getting a little unlucky at the moment. Not the easiest ones. Who the hell is Photon Pirate? Uh, I believe that's drums. Please be drums. No. Downbeat? Downbeat. Yeah, okay. Uh... Axel Synchron. going on here uh magical exemplar yeah. vampire kingdom please yes uh huh I know Sue? No, I don't know what that is. I know suing. Oh, it's cross border. Uh cross border. 
Edison is coming in clutch today. There was a bunch of Edison cards. Uh, well, that's the thing that kind of looks like Mirror Force, but it isn't Mirror Force. It's like something, uh, it's like a counter trap destruction jammer. Yeah. Um, that's a Batlin boxer, I think. Bandage. Big bandage. All right. Uh, Grave Keeper. Spear Soldier. Blockman. Easy 900. Easy 900. Four digits soon, TM. We're back. We're back. We're so back. Not today. Not not four four digits today. But we get. We'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry about it. This is some Stardust. I think that's Stardust Spark Dragon. Yeah. Oh. Not bad. We're getting. Uh, we're getting back in shape. We're getting back in shape. 926. I can I can smell the four digits coming soon. Easy clap. Uh, JSW, thank you for the 18 month. Appreciate you. Welcome back. <laughs> I appreciate that. Exceed SC. Thank you for the nine months. I haven't noticed that. No, I. Uh, what I have noticed is that uh, my mom has complained about she was unable to renew her prime. She, uh, she says like you have to go and uh, you have to come over and help me use the prime because <laughs> she doesn't know how to do it. Um. So may maybe you're right. Maybe it did get harder. Well, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's do this one real quick. Uh, a low level monster, not oh, a vanilla. We're looking for a vanilla, a dark vanilla. What about Metabat? Uh, level three dark vanilla. Wait, no, huh? Oh, this has to be easy. This is a vanilla fusion, I think. Level 3 Dark Vanilla Fusion. This is the Flame Ghost. Surely? Oh no, but it's not 2002. It's not 2002. Oh, it doesn't necessarily have to be. It could be a, it could be a Vanilla Tuner as well. Uh, what's a Dark Vanilla Level 3 Tuner? Gen X Controller. Oh yeah, easy clap. That, that easy. Way too easy. Way too easy. Yeah, okay. All right. All right, all right. That is that out of the way. That was a quick warm-up today. Good warm-up. All right, nice. Welcome to the stream, everybody. We have a couple things planned for the day. Actually, not that many. It's going to be a relatively simple stream. The, the schedule for today is very simple. We have two things to do. We've got some new cards from the Infinite Forbidden. Uh, uh, it seems like we're just getting a couple new cards every day at this point, which is pretty cool, uh, that we can look at. Uh, and once we're done with that, we're going to play a little bit of the Stage 1 in the Duelist Cup. I don't know exactly which kind of decks we're going to play today. I think we're going to switch it up a little bit, play a little bit of everything. See how high, how high we can climb. Um, so we're just going to have some fun with it. But uh, first things first, let's look at these new cards. Also, uh, Michael Finesse, thank you for the six months. Welcome back. Dark Time Fiend, thank you for the three months as well. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, we begin... And I believe these are kind of like, I don't think these belong to any archetype because it says free agents over here. So I think it's just a couple of cards that don't really belong to a specific archetype. 
uh, which we always have a couple of these in, in these kind of sets. Uh, usually these aren't that great. It's not that often that like the free agent cards are super strong, but I mean, sometimes they are and then they're, they can potentially be really important because they can go into a lot of decks. So let's take a look at these ones. So we have this little level five mushroom guy over here called Shiver Take. Um, some sort of, uh, word play on shiitake mushrooms, I believe. Light Thunder level 5, 1400 attack. You can only use the first and second effect each once per turn. If a monster whose original type is Thunder is sent from your hand and or field to the graveyard, even during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. Uh, even during the damage step is a funny wording. I, I, have, I can't recall... Uh, encountering this one before is that it like I know a lot of cards say except during the damage step I don't I can't recall a single card that says even during the damage step but okay um there are some no I, yeah probably it's just I'm not aware of one right now. I can't think of one right now but yeah it's not it's, it's not very often uh so okay Level 5 can't be normal summoned, but has a relatively simple summoning condition if you're playing a Thunder deck, which there aren't many out there. It has some Thunder Dragon synergy, right? Because, like, you discard Thunder Dragon, you can special this from your hand. Uh, if a Thunder Monster's effect is activated in the hand while you control this monster, you can special summon a Shiver token, which is a Thunder Dark token, and you can only do that once per turn. Uh, okay. So... This this clearly this is Thunder Dragon support, is it not? Like what what else would you do this? What, what what would you do with this card other than using it in Thunder Dragons? So if you first first initial thought, if you draw this thing with one copy of the OG Thunder Dragon. You can resolve both effects, right? Like you use Thunder Dragon to search only one copy of Thunder Dragon. Then you can special this. Then you can use the other Thunder Dragon in your hand to search the last Thunder Dragon. And then you also get a token. So I, that's the first thing I'm thinking of is like this plus a Thunder Dragon gives you that. And then in the OCG, you can immediately make a Colossus. Can, you can't make Colossus with a token, can you? Or can they, can you make Colossus with a token? You can, hold up. Thunder Dragon Colossus. Why is this always German by default? Donnerdrachen Koloss. Muss entweder als Fusionsbeschwörung geschworen werden oder während des Spielzugs, in dem der Effekt eines Donnermonsters in der Hand aktiviert wurde, als Spezial beschworen werden, indem du einen Donner-Effekt nicht Fusionsmonster als Tribut anbietest. Uh, you can't use tokens for it. It needs an effect monster. Noted. Unless they make... Uh, unless they make effect tokens at some point, but you, you can't use a non-effect token. Okay, uh, card is not terrible, but also not great. Like, what I'm, what I'm seeing here is a card that maybe we would have played in, like, 2019 when Thunder Dragon was actually meta. But, like, the power level for it seems to be relatively low for 2024, because it's a, it's a level 5, it's relatively bricky, the payoff for the payoff that you get is like a level five thunder extender that can produce a token, which isn't the greatest payoff in the world. It's not like that. It's, it, it doesn't really make me want to play a thunder deck because of this card. You know? So it's not a bad card, though. It's, it's not a bad card. It, I just find it hard to believe that it's good enough to actually see competitive play um, is the thing. But all right, it's not it's not terrible. We have Deceive Blaster, the Matchless Turret, a Pendulum Level 5 Light Monster, a machine. Pendulum Effect, negate all cards and effects activated in this card's column. Okay, so you can place this into the Pendulum Scale and then you basically like con continuously imperm that column, which could be relevant if your opponent plays into it. 
you know like you, if your opponent has cards in that column you can kind of use it as like a board breaker going second kind of thing right but okay uh that's the only pendulum effect it has uh going first this is never going to be relevant unless you're playing against a pendulum deck like if you play against another pendulum deck you can block out one of their zones um from activating their effects but like if you go first and you place this against any normal deck they will just play around it by not putting cards into that column but okay uh you can only special summon with the first effect of this card's name once per turn you can special summon this card from your hand to a column with no cards Okay, so super easy special summoning condition. That could, that could be unironically okay in general because it's just a level 5 extender, period. Like machine light extender, whichever. If you want this, if you want the level, if you want the attribute, if you want machine types, this can be a very solid extender. Because this is pretty much, I, like in most games this is going to be live going first or second at some point like you don't even have it's not it, it's not the first thing you need to do it's not the the you know you can do it at any point even in pendulum decks yeah even in pendulum decks to make like in the ocg they can make electromite with it before pendulum summon uh we can make beyond the pendulum with it before we pendulum summon uh this is solid just as an extender even ignoring all the other effects around it this is a solid card because it just basically says Hey, I'm a level 5 light machine pendulum monster that you can special summon pretty much always. Right? Um, negate all cards and effects activated in this card's column. Okay, that is something you can't really use that well. Um, unless you're playing a pendulum deck. Because if you're summoning this from your hand, you can't put it in the same column as your opponent's cards. Because, you know, then you wouldn't be able to summon it. So you can't like summon it into the column of your opponent's Baron and making it unusable. That's not how, what it does. But you could in theory do that if you were to pendulum summon it. Like if you actually play a pendulum deck to pendulum summon this thing and your opponent has a board, you can like pendulum summon this thing into the same column of your opponent's Baron or something like that. And just, you know, that's all right. Uh, if this card in the monster zone is destroyed, you can place it in your pendulum zone. Okay, so if it gets destroyed, you can put it into the scale. That's okay. Um, hmm. People in chat are pointing out it's a, it's a machine duplication target. I find it hard to believe that you would actually do that. Uh, you are not wrong, but machine duplication is a card that I find it hard to believe that someone would build their deck around it in 2024 because it's pretty much an unsearchable spell card that you won't open very often. So building your deck around that is not very likely um, unless you play like a deck where all the things are machine dupli targets and you just play machine dupli because it's always life and whenever you draw it, then it'd be okay. But like uh, this card in general is good, I think. Because it's, I mean, it's good, but at the same time, it's not too crazy because all it does is just be a very, very easy to summon extender, right? With a couple of nice traits to it, right? Like being a pendulum extender is good for pendulum decks. Being a machine extender could be useful in other strategies. Being a uh, light monster could be relevant. Being a level five could be relevant. So it's just like super, super non-conditional extender for a lot of different strategies and i think that makes it good enough to potentially see play at some point i don't think that the negating the column effect is going to be super relevant most of the time um unless you're playing pendulum mirror matches this is just way too easy to play around right um i mean yeah you guys are right you can technically summon a monster in your extra monster zone on the right or the left and then put this card under the other extra monster zone, right? That is true. Like, you can kind of create this, this block under your opponent's EMZ. I don't think that's that crazy, though. Like, yeah, you can do that. This is nothing too, too... It's not too wild, though, but, like, it's fine. Um, For the most part, this card is just a solid extender, I would say. And I think that's what it's going to be used for, and that could be good enough to see play. It's not crazy, but it's definitely solid. Especially for pendulum decks. Uh, DPA Jean Demour 
Uh, is that like a Jean d'Arc wordplay? Okay, we have a Fire Cyber Synchro, my favorite type. Let's go. Level 8. One tuner plus one non-tuner monsters. You can only use the first and second effect each once per turn. If this card is Synchro Summoned, you can special summon a level 4 Cyber monster from your graveyard in defense position. But its effects are negated. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of this turn except Cyber monsters. Uh, dude, making a Cybers extra deck monster that doesn't summon more Cybers monsters challenge impossible. Challenge absolutely impossible. When your Cybers monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent during a battle with their monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard, inflict an equal amount of damage to them. Uh, okay. So the thing is, with this card... It's also a tuner. It is also a tuner. The thing with this card is that it doesn't link climb, right? Because you need two monsters to make this. And then after you resolve it, you still only have two monsters. Which I feel like... Doesn't make it that great. So the only thing you can really use it for is like... Synchro climbing into something like Final Sigma? Is that going to be a thing? Right? It, it's, it's clearly it's meant to be used with Final Sigma, right? Because Final Sigma also has this effect where it inflicts like a lot of battle damage, right? Final Sigma does like double battle damage or something like this, and this one then does even more battle damage. Yeah. Okay. So that's what it what it's meant to facilitate. Sure. I don't know. That strategy isn't very good at the moment. The math mech final sigmas of this world. But uh, sure. This doubles the double damage. Yeah. If you make a final sigma with this, it basically does quadruple damage. But I don't know if you need to do that. I don't know if it helps. I hope it doesn't help. <laughs> uh, heretical Phobos Cobos. Phobos Cobos? Level 4 Dark Illusion Exceed. Oh, is that the first Illusion Exceed? I think so. I can't remember another one. Uh, 2100 attack, 1500 defense, two level 4 monsters, so generic. You can only use the first effect once per turn. You can target an effect monster your opponent controls, negate its effects. Then, if it battled this turn, you can take control of it until the end phase. This is a quick effect if this card has an illusion monster as material. If this card battles a monster, neither can be destroyed by that battle. Uh, okay. So, couple things here. This, this clause, the illusion clause that every illusion monster except for the vanilla has, al al almost all of them have it, I think. Uh, this is pretty interesting because of Zeus, right? Like, is there a level four that already does this without a, with like unconditionally, right? I don't know. How do you make this? There's two level fours. I guess you can play Zodiacs, but that's like multiple spots. Guys, it doesn't take illusions. It does not need two level four monsters. Two level four monsters. It doesn't need illusion monsters. Come on, guys. It has a bonus effect if it has an illusion monster as material, but it doesn't need one. You can technically make it in every deck. Uh, I think this card is not bad. It's not crazy good, but it's a, it's a solid option, I think, because you can do a couple of things with it. First of all, it facilitates Zeus. Um... If you are playing an illusion deck, it could even technically be an end board piece because it's just a quick effect imperm, which isn't completely terrible. Uh, you can make it going second to just bait negations, right? You summon this, 
try to negate a monster, um, you can take control of your opponent's monsters even. Like, you can crash, and instead of making Zeus, you can try to steal their monster as well. It's not a terrible card. It's not a terrible card. It's not an insane card either. Um, but it's it's okay. It's definitely all right. And if you do make it with an illusion monster, it gets even better. I don't think there is an illusion deck that makes rank fours easily, but all right. It's I think that's going to be an okay option at some point, maybe, for some rank four focus decks. But it's not insane or anything like that. But it's just okay, which I feel like is a good spot for a card to be. Uh, Astral World Tree Ilu Mistil Link 5 Earth Plant. Oh no. Uh, 3 plus effect monsters. You can only control one of it. Each time your opponent special summons a monster face up during the main phase, you gain life points equal to its attack. Once per turn, quick effect, you can pay that life points in multiples of 1000. This card gains an equal amount of attack. Okay. So. This is just spooky dogwood as a link five monster. Damn. I mean, okay. Outside of the context of uh of like approaching timeout, this card is completely terrible. <laughs> Jiggle physics, think of it a five months. Uh this card is uh absolutely terrible, horrible. Probably worst Link 5 in the game, unless there's like 5 minutes left on the clock. Which is very annoying card design, I feel like. It's very frustrating, because it's like, if anyone is ever going to summon this card, it's going to be when there's like 2 minutes on the clock and you just can't play the game. Because if you do play the game, you, uh, you will lose. Which is annoying. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think... I, I think this goes right into the into the... The corner of cards like Agave Dragon, right? That kind of stuff. Those kind of cards, which like they, they see play like every once in a while because a deck doesn't have another way to play close to time. Quick effect IP into this. Yeah, like that's it's just imagine imagine you play like against Snake Eyes and they do the first turn combo with like Plamberge, IP, all that. And there's like three minutes left on the clock. You go activate original sinful spoils and your opponent chains, chains IP and summons this shit. <laughs> like, you know, that's the kind of scenarios that this is going to come up in potentially, which is really, really annoying. <laughs> like, that's, that's just fucked up, man. Like, why does this need to be a thing? <laughs> oh, man, that's annoying. That's annoying. And I already know that that's not even that unrealistic. That's not even that unrealistic. Like, someone is going to do that. Someone is going to do that to you if they have an IP Masquerade and you, like, activate a card that starts a chain to special summon and they just chain IP and they just summon this shit and you're like, God damn, what am I going to do now? Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, okay, and that's the that's the set of cards. We got we got all things perfectly balanced. We got an effect monster, a pendulum monster, a synchro, an Xyz, and a link. Alright, well. Um not too bad. Nothing nothing broken here, but nothing was completely garbage either. Even this thing, which like I said, like <laughs> in a in some ways, it's completely terrible, but like it, it has its uses, which is annoying. But yeah, um, not too bad, not too bad for Infinite Forbidden. All right. Does the pendulum activate to special summon? Uh, the way it's worded here, no. The way it's worded here, if this is worded correctly, it does not start a change to special summon itself. You can just put it out there. Are there any plant links that can climb into it? I mean, probably. Link climbing is something that plants do very well. I don't know if 
Uh, I, I mean, it has to be, right? Like, I, I don't know if you can climb into it with just... Yeah. Technically, Aramage support? I mean, I, I don't think... I, I do not think that using this card as an end board piece, like an actual part of your strategy, is ever going to be successful. Um, that, I will say, is just, like, not going to happen, I don't think. Like, Unironically, I think the most likely use for this card is going first when it's close to time, and your deck can either just heart make it or use it with IP Mascarena. So, yeah. All right. Those are the new cards. Interesting stuff. Let us proceed. Let me boot up Master Duel. We're going to be playing Duelist Cup Stage 1 today, chat. Uh, I don't know exactly which decks we're going to use. I think we're just going to switch it up in between. We're just going to play different decks. Um... And we'll see how high we can climb. We shall see how high we can climb. Pop. Duelist Cup held. Alright, so. Wait, you get 1100 gems? Oh. You get 1,100 gems right away, because we got promoted to stage 11, uh, stage 12. We need to get these gems. Uh, and we're going to invest all of the gems today. Uh, we're going to invest all of the gems today into trying to pull more alternate artwork uh, Ash Blossoms. That's, uh, that's going to be our investment for today, so we can start right away. It's not because of the artwork, it's because of the animation, because it walks all over your opponent's card. It's important. It gives you a uh, psychological advantage. I am purposely not calling it Pete Ash because I don't care about the artwork. I actually think the artwork is worse. What am I going to do with a Vice Madame? Major Kappa. <laughs> you guys cannot talk about anything serious ever. Why is Farfa in chat at the exact moment that Heat Ash is being mentioned, by the way? How did you guys just summon Farfa like that? That's crazy. Ah. How many Shekinagas can I pull? Unfortunate. How many times have you tried yet? I don't know. I have one. Single pack magic. Skip trick. Nope. Unfortunate. Alright, we're going to grind for more gems. Uh, speaking of Farfa. Uh, the, we, are, we, we start at level 12. And Farfa suggested that we could start, that we could do a little, um, we could do a race to Duelist level max, starting at 17. So we're going to see how long it takes, but potentially we're going to leave it at 17 today. 
We might leave it at 17 to do a race to, do, to level max tomorrow. Try this list. It hit level 20 already. Uh, what is that? Now, nah, what is that? Huh? Huh? What do you mean this hit level 20? Why is there an infect injection fairy lily? Why is there an infection very lily? Run it. There's no way this makes I'm not there's no way this makes progress. There's no way this makes progress. I don't want to play this. No balls? <laughs> Come on, man. <sighs> okay, fine. Read the explanation? I would rather not. I'm pretty sure it ain't that deep. All right. Dude, why is there an injection fairy lily? <laughs> why is there one barrier statue and one patchy? Why are there zodiacs? I have so many questions. Dogmatica cards, obviously. Dude. Cash Tira. What is the point of Rice Hard? We don't even play rank sevens. What do I do with this rice heart? Level 4 extender for what? Small world. I think we're just I think the plan is to small world away the rice heart. Cuz this is criminal. I don't know what to tell you. I should have asked for subs. I just realized. I'm a bad businessman. Uh, Vespinado. Secure Gardener. Almirage. Codebreaker. And Bucephalus. What am I missing? Oh, Baron, of course. I can't believe this is the first deck we're using in the Duelist Cup. I don't think we need to worry about getting to level 17 too early this way, I guess is the good news. Uh, D7MX, thank you for the four months. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Dude, they got they got the level up duel as well.
Why is this music playing? Nah, man. Nah. <laughs> uh. Am I even supposed to send Thoroughblade? Because now I have no more targets for my barrages. It doesn't even play F0, guys. Zodiac engine plus control engine plus maxi engine. Very true. Dude, come on. You haven't even seen the best part yet. What? Why do you scoop to a Zodiac normal summon? What the hell? You haven't even seen the good cards yet. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we go insta invest. We insta invest. Trust. Nah. We low road. <laughs> Mirko, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you so much. Thank you. Dude, is this the is this the cheat code? Does this break Master Duel's code and you go first every time? What's the deck list? The, dude, none of your business. Oh God! Well, the the small world is kind of weird. They got Imperm, I think. Lily bridges to barrier statue. No, it doesn't. It pitches it it it, uh, it it bridges to Patchy, but it's got four hundred attack and fifteen hundred defense. So no, it doesn't bridge to a statue. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to small world and throw away my max C for Apache right now. That is criminal activity, but I'm about to do it. I will do it. And then Apache is going to be summon number five. And it doesn't even matter if they got nip unless they have imperm nip. I banished a rat peer, I think. Because I don't have Xyz anymore. And then I just add barrier statue, not patchy. I could add Lily. I 
And now I just have to attack them for four turns. Unless I draw Lily, then it's faster. <laughs> Why is there Lily, man? We even play Solemns. We won't have life points. Yeah, Imperm. I know you had that. It's fine. We have Dryden Warning Punishment. What are you going to do? <laughs> nah. Why did you Imperm the statue? <laughs> Why did they imperm the statue? <laughs> There's no way. Why did you imperm the statue, man? That can't be real, dude. <laughs> dude, we haven't lost yet. Oh my god. Matasdas, thank you for the two months. Appreciate you. Okay, so it can lose coin flips. Okay, I see. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Zeon, thank you for the 20 months. Appreciate you so much. Uh-oh. Are we meeting our master with the Gamba Lord? Here, Laments. And... Sharon Pitch Enchantress. Yeah, I think we might lose this one. Didn't mill Fateful either. Okay. Do I Valor the tier cash? Or do I wait? Maybe they if they hit a tier name, I can just Valor the kick close though. Dude, can you please no, I'm 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 gonna let them mill the griffin. I'm letting them mill the griffin. Look, watch this. Well, they missed anyways, but still. I mean, at the moment, we can still just imperm the griffin and then Zeus them. And then set double solemn, I suppose. Depending on what they still do. They can make Baron unless I I can Valor the Strudo, right? Valoring the Strudo puts it to level seven. I'll Valor the Strudo. A rise art, yeah. <laughs> Ross sheep. Okay. Oh. They just got every fucking thing. Yeah, no, I I lose.
Dude, Sharon Enchantress, Here Cash, Greep. Didn't mill Griffin, didn't mill Fateful. I always leave, I always lose to Tierlemon gamblers. It always happens. Like, legitimately always happens. No, don't gamble. <laughs> dude, snow and scream. No, fuck that shit. Fuck this game, man. Fuck the elements, dude. Oh, come on, dude. Okay. Oh, let's play. Let's play a real deck. Let's leave it at seventy-five percent win rate with this deck. Let's leave it at seventy-five percent win rate, okay? <laughs> let's leave it. Um, we can play a little bit of everything today. I feel like. What do we play? A little bit of everything. Paleo? I mean... <laughs> Let's go. Uh-oh. Dude, if we had gone first. Ah, that's fine. That's 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 alright. That they're not gonna do that much turn one. Ooh, they discard Ecclesia. Interesting. Oh, because okay. Why is everything royal? Sustia. Oh, come on, dude. How? Dude, please, if you hit my reasoning, I'm I'm scooping if you hit reasoning. I leave. I leave. I leave. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm not gonna entertain this if they hit my reasoning. I'm not. I'm I would I will not accept it. I leave. Okay. Sick. Paleo 1. Rise to full height. Give me more Paleos. Oh, come on. Dude, this is the worst case scenario. Now I'm locked. Now I'm locked from summoning Paleos. It's it's so it's so bad. Just crash. The problem is if I crash...
Nah. Nah, I lose. I, oh, come on, man. See, I can't chain my Paleo now. It's so dumb. You can snow, chain trap, chain paleo. Yeah, I can do that. But they they have the lady now to chain to my trap before I can. I can roll back my Karma Cannon to get rid of my own Artemis. But then... Yeah, it's... We lose to the random rivalry because we hit snow with reasoning. It's so sad. Set rollback. That's funny. This matchup is not very good for us. <laughs> I 
They can't attack anyways, is the good thing. Not entirely sure what they're trying to do here because they can't attack, and I don't know what the point of this cool clog was, but I'm sure. Main phase two, phenomenal, nice. Okay. Uh, Leoncolia. Target rollback. Chain Morella. Chain Max C. Chain Trap Trick. Chain Canadia. Banish Fiend Griefing, maybe? Fiend Griefing. Uh, what's the wording on Fiend Griefing? Can they dodge it? Yeah, they can dodge it with Big Welcome Labyrinth. Maybe it's just Needlebug Nest or Reckless Greed. Hmm. Ice Dragon Prison? Next, I mean, next, I'm not going to activate it this turn because uh, I'm under max C. Mm. Oh, yeah, rivalry as well. Yeah. Uh, pop, 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 pop. I could Morella for another... I could also Morella for another... Rollback. Which is okay. I'll grab a Morella. I want more Paleos. The um the torrentials should probably be needle ceilings in this deck. Needle ceiling would be pretty good here. Chains big welcome to chain block a paleo question mark. Sick behavior. Like to see it. I'm gonna have one Paleo in Graveyard. Maybe I want two. Uh, Rollback. Can draw two cards right now if I want to. Uh, I mean, I have Rollback already. I think it's just another Paleo. Which one? Dynamicious. I don't have the cards in hand for Dynamicious. This deck is so funny because it works so differently from everything else in the game. Uh, if they're smart, they're going to rip the card in my hand here. Nope, they're not. Cool. I 
Are you locked two draws if you roll back Reckless? Yes, you are. You, uh, because it's part of the effect. Activate rollback target Karma Cannon. Uh, if I chain a Paleo here, it's gonna get booked. These two I can flip back up. Mm, I definitely want to chain. The question is, do I chain rollback? I, I probably chain rollback. I don't want to have a set Paleo. I'll chain. I have to chain block because of the ladies. Uh, and I will target... I'll target Reckless. I could also target Trap Trick. Uh, I'll target Reckless. Draw two. Chain Cool Clock. What? I, yeah, okay. It's unfortunate I drew no Paleo. Leap. Leap. Mm. I might make Cambro Raster here. Because they both go to the graveyard because of Karma Cannon, I can pop their set cards. Yeah, I'll make Raster first. Do I know which set is which? I don't remember. Zeus line? Yeah, we have to like, but we have to like, Olenoid's the rivalry for that. Chain welcome. Well, that's perfect for me. Chain paleo. So I can send Oleno I can set Olenoid's pop the rivalry and then go for a Zeus line. Uh, I can pop this back row first. Chain Paleo. Because I get another Olenoid's. The problem is, what do I... I can't crash into anything with my Opabinia because it's too small. Right? Wait, what's the defense on Lovely? 1900, right? Um, Which one is Lovely? I don't have much time. This one is lovely, right? Dude, if we win this, I'm losing my mind. That's ridiculous.
sure. Dude, this thing being on the board is so nice. They can't... Dude, the more traps they use, the more paleos I get. I think it's Jover. I think we just win. How do they, like... How do they stop this shit? Spoilers. I don't think they can. We have 100 life points and we can't die. Oh, yeah. Well, we don't get a draw. We did Reckless last turn. Kane roll back in the graveyard. Sure. Or big welcome. Yep. Uh, the turn after, I would like to have this. Okay, I need to hurry a little bit. Yeah, summon your lovely, I don't care. Skip draw. Have fun chaining this lady to anything, by the way. Okay, that's nasty. That's actually messed up. We do get a new Paleo from the Cambro Raster, though. Uh, Leon Colia, for sure. I'll take my free Lost Wind as well. This is the third big welcome. We're very close. This this thing is a pain to out though. I need more time. It's it's not about the cards, I just need more time at the moment.
I'll get this. The, this thing is going to be able to chain block me at some point anyway, so I might as well let it have it now. Whatever. Arma cannons not that good. Not that good for them, anyways. Uh, are we torrential here. This card is a pain in the ass. Another Nadir servant. When does this end? I don't know. I can't tell you yet. And this again, you've already done that. Wait, what? Oh, you can only special summon it once per turn. Okay, I didn't know that. Whatever. Uh, no. I forgot what I put to the top for back jag. Um, let's find out. The Ruma? I think it's the Ruma. Is this deck legal in TCG besides snow? I mean, you're going to lose in time every single round, but uh, you will, you only have one reasoning as well. No grass. I don't know. You do have Toad, yeah. Uh, do I have another backjack? I do. Uh, okay. This is unbelievable. This is a uh, very, uh, this is gameplay for sure. Uh, I don't even know if I want to give them targets for Welcome Labyrinth. I think I don't. I think I want to give them, like, maybe even extra deck cards. Maybe Garura. Garura, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Garura.
Ice Dragon's Prison. That's pretty good. <laughs> the Aegis is also pretty good. Um... The only annoying thing is, at the moment, I can't chain a trap to my Ice Dragon's Prison, a Paleo. Well, I won't, though, because they will... I will just... I'm, I want to banish the lady anyways. Yeah. They're, they might chain their lady. Not yet. Yeah, chain all you want. I don't care. If I banish these... Oh, what are, what are they doing? Oh, chain the Ruma. So that their lady is going to be booked. But I get the lady still. Is it negated? Its effects are negated. Um... Fine though, it's big. Banish the Ruma with snow. If I banish the Ruma with snow, I have five monsters unless I banish my Paleos, which I didn't want to do. Dude, it's so wonderful, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Easiest game I've ever played in my life. Easiest game I've ever played in my life. Not even close. You know what? I'm going to save that replay. <laughs> I'm going to save that replay. <laughs> okay, I think we need to swap decks, though, because I feel like if we keep doing this, we will. it'll never end. Uh, I need to go to the toilet real quick. Holy God. I'll, I'll be right back. Uh, Weenie Peenie, thank you for the gift sub. Appreciate that. Also, King Boohoo, thank you for the gift sub to Paleozoic Opabinia. <laughs> this deck will not win the speedrun versus Farfa. Uh, yeah, it, it will not. <laughs> I'll be right back. <clears throat> all right what do we say chat do we swap to a deck that's faster or do we do one more if you guys have like about 45 minutes time we can do one more <laughs> what's the paleo list uh this is the paleo list are there chat i'm asking for a friend are there more cards that can put banished rollbacks back into the graveyard Other than, uh, other than Lee and Cholia. <laughs> Dark Horror, thank you for the bits. Appreciate you. Burial? No, Burial is only monsters, I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah, it's only monsters. Different dimension burial. No, I, I, I'm pretty sure you mean the same card, right? Yeah. All right. I don't think Torrential is that great here. I think Needle Ceiling would be better, but... The bad pot? I mean, I'm not going to play Pot of Acquisitiveness. That also puts it back into the deck. I, if anything, it would have to put it back into the graveyard. Three more games until the end of stream. <laughs> Ooh, Rescue Ace. Okay. Hydrant isn't even close to a one-card combo in Master Duel, right? But if they have one of the spell cards, they're, they're fine. Okay, that, that does work. That does give them the, the, the stuff. The, are any of the Rescue Ace traps actually good against my deck, though? I feel like they all kind of suck, no? Like, because I'm playing such an unusual strategy. I feel like none, none of it really does anything to me. Like, I don't care about the Monster Negate. I don't care about the... The other one is like a Monster Destruction. I don't think I care about them. I think we just set five and we are big chillin'. Alert. Contain. Extinguish. Just set three. Okay, yeah, we don't care about these. Shotgun Maxi would be beautiful. If they shotgun Maxi, I'll be so happy. Are Paleos effect monsters? They are not. They are normal monsters. Okay. Oh, Promethean. Okay. How good is Earthbound Runic in Master Duel? It's okay. It just dies the max C, which is not very great. Do you like having a beard or not? I kind of like it. I think it looks better. My fiance doesn't like it because she says it hurts when, you know, kissing and stuff. <laughs> so I'm fighting for my right to keep it. Oh, Dynamishes is interesting. I mean, this just sounds like a clean set 5 except for Rise to Full Height. And then we probably just start by banishing the Promethean Princess. Or the... Honestly, maybe this. Maybe wait for access code. I mean, I want to start. I mean, I do I want to do I care if they get the free princess revive on on this thing? Not really. Okay. 
I mean, they're just locked into Fasnikash. <laughs> uh, sure. I wish I had Needle Ceiling in this deck. Yeah, I think I want to go Dynamicious, Banish HQ, then go Karmican and Chain Dynamicious, bring it back. Um, dude, they're going in. Okay, we need to do something here. Wait, no, they can't go into Baron. Um, yeah, okay. Chat is being completely weird right now, but it's whatever. Uh, I don't think they can hit anything that it really annoys me. Yeah, the Dynamish is actually the worst one to hit. So... Chain Dynamicious. Pop the field spell. Or banish the field spell, rather. Uh, put two on. Rise to full height. Gone. And now... Oh, target a card on the field. Okay, perfect. Um, well, chain. Chain Link Karibo. So you just... Okay, I mean, it does chain block. It's not terrible. It does chain block. It's not awful. Um. Yeah, so... Bop, bop, bop. Okay. Fine. Battle phase, main phase two, end phase. They do have a spell that can chain block, right? Do they have a, which one do they have? They have the one that adds from graveyard, but there's nothing in the graveyard. Can they not chain block with it then? Add a rescue ace monster from grave to hand, which they do not have. Okay. So I think I got, I have to Lee and Cholia here to target one of their cards. Because I need two paleos in the in the game. Uh I'll just return the rescue. I don't think I care about that one. Chain dynamicious. What are they thinking about? Hmm. Another long game? This this game doesn't... Oh, that's massive. That's horrible for me. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need to read the, the traps. If you control a rescue ace monster, target an effect you control, can't attack. Okay, they can't use this one. They can't use either of them. Okay. Uh, okay, we just use them then. Oh, they can link Karibo me again. Oh, they didn't though. Oh, if they link Karibo here, we would have been cooked. 
I mean, not cooked, cooked, but like it was, it would have been bad if they did that. But that ash was pretty massive. Okay, so. Opabinia. In the attack position. Did we beat the lap player? Absolutely. Did you ever doubt? Of course we did. Dude, Opa Binia can search draw two if you have Reckless in the graveyard. How fucked up is that? <laughs> Faith, thank you for the two months. Appreciate you. Okay, so this is annoying because if I crash my Opabinia into the turbulence, they can now uh, stop my stuff, right? But, okay. Dinomicious. Here. Uh, roll back. Do I need to go to this thing? Yeah, this is way better. Okay. Doesn't Zeus just say the clear? No, you have to battle. This is not battling yet. Okay, they just... Okay. So what happens if I attack this? Uh, they can use the thing on my Opabinia to make sure I can't use it as material, but then I get another Paleo. But what do I do with that? I can still Zeus them. Bop. Right? I go Downard. Wait, no, I no, if I just Zeus here, they have the effect negation. Uh, if I Zeus here, they have effect negation. I chain another Paleo. Then I could go Cambro Raster, but then they would get banished. They have no Hydrant. Uh, Destroy it. Can't activate. Uh, cannot attack, also its effects are negated. So... I need to Zeus here. Force one of them. Can I dodge? Oh, I, can, I could theoretically dodge with... Transaction rollback. I don't think that's smart. Paleo chain. Rollback. I mean, they have no cards if I do that, though. But I am also pretty low on cards if I do, because this Paleo is going to die if I do that. Roll back Karma Cannon, flips my Zeus face down, flips this Paleo face down. I mean, it's worth it. It's got to be. We Karma the Cannon, let's go. Uh, Bricks AoE, thank you for the 10 months. And Skylar VGC, thank you for the uh, tier 1, appreciate you. Mm, destroy it. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Okay. 
Can you just banish your own Zeus? For what? Why not summon the other Paleo? Because it would get flipped by my own Karma Cannon and then sent to the graveyard anyways by Zeus. This situation is not great. Maybe we shouldn't have forced the Zeus through. Maybe we should have just rolled back to draw two more traps with the Reckless. I'm not sure. Another question is, do they play like Flamberge and stuff? Which I, I, I didn't expect them to play Flamberge, but if they do, it's pretty bad. Because it's like, okay, it's oak. Oak can revive hydrants, I suppose. Oh, they go for poplar. Okay. They usually play flamberge in rescue ace, really. Send Mighty, thank you for the 22 months. Yeah, one? Okay, interesting. I didn't expect that. But, yeah. We won't die this turn, but I don't think we can come back from this. Depending, I mean, if they play it right. I genuinely don't understand why they went um, Oak on Poplar instead of Oak on Hydrant, but sure. Do we Torrential? I mean, we have to Torrential now, kind of. I wasn't going to chain a Paleo to that anyways, but sure. Am I going to chain Rice to full height? To, um... Make it so they can't attack this turn? I don't think so. Because I think this turn I live anyways, unless they have specifically Diabell Star. Which kills me exactly. If they have Diabell Star, I lose if I don't chain Rise. But I think I'll accept that. Okay. Okay, no top deck Diabell Star. Needle Bug Nest. All right, cool. That's technically not bad, depending on what they do here. But the problem is now that they have the field spell. Uh, now that they have the field spell, <clears throat> they can like use Temple. If I bring back a Paleo and bring out the Flamberge and all that, it's kind of fucked. They are out of gas. I mean, they don't need much gas, though. 
Oh no, I actually just died because of Link Karibo. Link Karibo just keeps fucking me up because it keeps chain blocking. Yeah, I lose. Unless I hit um unless I hit rollback or backjack with the needle bug nest. Wait, they discarded Ash. That was game. I mean, maybe you have two. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that was close, though. I think if we just don't go for the Zeus line there, we have a chance. Unfortunate. All right, let's play. A, let's play a faster deck. Yeah, they had all three ashes in this game. They discarded one of them, but the other two hurt really, really badly. Okay. Um, The Daruski, thank you for the 14 months. And Gunslinger Goat, thank you for the four. Appreciate you guys. Zen Mighty, thank you for the 22. Appreciate you guys a lot. Vanquish Soul. I was thinking about updating my Vanquish Soul list because I kind of I kind of like the idea of playing Retaliating C in it for the fire decks. I wanted to try that version. Um, what do you take out for that though? Like probably ghost bells. Um, we can try it. Can you show us the stun list? No, <laughs> I don't feel comfortable with stun. People all, they, the only way we play stun is if people force me to do it. Wait, how are we still on window level up? We just lost. I haven't seen Vancrosol for months. Yeah, it's it's not very common anymore. Why not the flip spell? Because it is not good. This DD Crow is going to be phenomenal, I feel like. Dude, just opens Unicorn Fenrir one for one like it's nothing. That is super reasonable. Kurikara go burr. I mean, we'll see about that. Maybe. Snake Eyes Cash Tira? That's actually very common at the moment. That's actually a very common version of the deck. So the, the reasoning behind it is that Cash Tira cards, unless your opponent shotguns Maxi, are kind of solid into Maxi, and they help you force other hand traps, like Imperm on Unicorn and stuff like that. It's I don't think it's that good, but it does make sense. Are people just shoving snake eyes into everything? Or you or that. Yeah, I guess. Do you think Chimera will be any good when it comes to Master Duel? I think it'll be playable, yeah. I don't think it's going to be, like, insane, but it's going to be solid. Unchained? I'm not sure about Unchained. Unchained is going to be very, very weak to Maxi, which is a big problem for it. It's still fine. It's not a bad deck, but I don't know if I... I don't know if I would consider it super strong because of that. Lab Unchained sounds good. I mean, that's more of a Labyrinth deck, though. 
That's more of a labyrinth deck than a than an actual unchained deck. Do you think they should semi-limit cross out? I think they should ban fucking cross out and called by the grave. That's what I think. Ah, why did I crow now? Uh, I, I guess that also works. I wanted to crow the IP one step later, but it's whatever. It kind of does the same thing. Yeah, I was, I, my, I, I was, uh, it was trigger finger. I was too, I was too trigger happy on the DD crow. Do you think there's a chance that they'll free Meowmu? I think there's a chance for that. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't think it's a bad decision either. I don't think it'd be too strong or anything like that. I'm not a fan of Prank Kids because it's just another like one card combo deck, which I'm not a big fan of. But I don't think it'd be too strong. I think they could do it if they wanted to. Do you think they will unlimit Exodia? No. The lore behind Exodia is too strong. I mean, Kurikara might cook a little bit. They could make a rice art. I hope they do. Guys, we had a huge bandless discussion yesterday. We had a huge balance discussion yesterday, which is up on my YouTube soon in a couple days. So like tomorrow or in two days. So just go exclamation mark YouTube. That was um, interesting. Well, it's a lot of fire monsters. Maybe I shouldn't have used the raisin. I should have summoned it, maybe. But then what do I do? I did not expect them to let me search, by the way. That's a vibe. Uh, pop. I want to summon Kurikara here.
here we go i mean yeah it's still gonna be a it's still gonna be a quite the journey but Uh, the Caesar is pretty good here. Panthera? Earth, fire. No, oh, they, they didn't know about the second Jowlong. I should have showed them the, the thingy. Uh, what do I pop? I kind of need to get rid of birth. I also want to get rid of the back row. What if I, what if I summon, what do I need to reveal? Earth and fire. I don't have earth and fire. Um, oh, I did reveal both. Yeah, right. I mean, their back row. That's the original. Okay, attack, attack, attack. Oh, I forgot about Amblo Whale. Not too bad. Nice use of Linker Rebo. I am almost tempted to make Phoenix and draw a card with it. Can't you Panthera pop? I can, but I want to get the trap card. But I think giving up... No, I can't do that. I can't. I can't do that. I can't Phoenix. Like, I, I just... I just... I, I would have to discard a fire monster. Rock has to add back on my opponent's turn to make this live. Won't it special to Snake Eyes? No, they've already used it. And the thing is, they can still get it back anyways next turn. The, the Flamberish. Like, all they need to do... Like, getting rid of it is so big. I'll try it. Let's try this. Pop Earth? I don't think I care about Earth, no. Well, I mean, I care about it, but I care way more about the Flamber. You draw? I do draw. Don't know how much this helps, but we'll see.
What did they add last turn? Kurikara. They added Kurikara. Hmm. So maybe if I ash this, they won't have a play? That's pretty bad. It's good since they can't carry Kara. I mean, yeah. Depending on what they take here. I can prevent Kurikara. Don't use the effect. No, I do use the effect. I just bounce it immediately with like Valius or Borger. So they have a Kurikara and one other card. They can still normal summon. Depends on if this card that they have is... Oh no, it's this one. We knew about that. Okay. Uh, That's fine. Not gonna draw one and play into Kurikara immediately. Yeah, very smart. Very, very smart. No, that's fine. Draw now. This goes back. We're fine. The Kurikara is dead. They just pass. We're vibing. Nice. Can they Borger Kurikara since he activated the effect in hand? No. You can only you can only Kurikara monsters that have activated the effect on the field. Uh like you can't for example, you can't Kurikara Promethean Princess that just came back from the graveyard. That does not uh, work like that. But the, the hard draw Kurikara there was pretty nice. Uh, Kmigio, thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Thank you for the kind words. Banker Soul is such a cool deck. I don't know what it is, but I like it. I do like it too. It just doesn't like me. Um, this hand is fine. In this spot, I think you want to make the rock first before Durandal. Because just in case they ash the Durandal, it stays on the rock of the Vanquisher. Oh, now we maxi. Okay, that's fine. I'll add back from the graveyard then. I don't know why they did that.
Hopefully this works now. Yeah, okay. I was gonna activate Rock to special this raisin. They could have gotten the draw out of this max seed. They just didn't want to. Do I set continue? I have nothing in the graveyard right now. I don't think it's smart. Let's just leave it for follow up. Now that's more of a problem. They won't be able to summon with Temple here because it wasn't on the field yet, resolved when the Raisin was summoned. That's why I'm doing the Rock now. Uh, and I want to pop the Snake Eye Ash before it can tag out because that forces them to have another extender before I am forced to use this. Well, the problem now is that I, I, I'm not going to have all three attributes for the Trap card is the big problem. Um, so, I mean, it's probably just Heavy Burger here. No, I need a fire. Never mind. I need a fire for the uh, reveal. Uh, yeah. The them forcing my ash with the maxi here is actually so bad for me. I might lose because of it if they have an extender. I'm pretty sure we lost. No. That's not winnable. The double maxi fucked me. The Turia runic time? Well, did the polls? Did you have a poll for what deck to play next? Can you create a Reddit community for people to give you content to react to and content to talk about on stream? Uh, I mean, I could if you guys wanted that. Dude, Ashing Mad Love. Crazy. Wild behavior. Okay. I don't really use Reddit myself, so I don't know much about it. But if it's like what you guys want, I don't really care. I mean, I do have a Discord server for that kind of stuff too, yeah. 
which I'm a lot more familiar with. So it's kind of just use that, you know. That is the worst draw off of Borger that you can draw in the history of Borger draws. Um, What if they imperm rock next turn in standby phase? Well, we lose. You know, we do lose if they do that. Make Baguska? Taking, making Baguska here is not a winning play. You just commit all your resources into Baguska, and if they out it, you lose the game. If they have Ash imperm and a way to play through my own Ash Blossom, they're just better. Life twin. We only lose to starter. The thing about starter is we don't even lose lose to it because it's it's the just the sprite cards aren't even that big of a deal at the moment into this field. Like it's if they have starter, they have starter. It's not that big of a problem. Yeah. Nice. Okay, what was it you wanted to see in the Turia Runic? We can swap. Let's go. Don't need to ask me twice to play a Runic deck, huh? Chat, what the hell? What is his hand? <laughs> okay. What's our progress on the on the gems? Let me check. Oh, we finished dual pass. That's nice. Finished dual pass just in time. There's only 40 days left, Kek W. 730 gems. 
Not enough to buy a pack of 10. Well, we keep going. Play Math Mech? No Megalol. You will never see me playing Math Mech unless, uh, unless it's like the wheel or people give subs for it. Like, I'm, I'm not doing that. There's no shot. Okay. It's a little annoying. Uh, if I discard Camellia, I can bring it back with my Camellia if I leave it on the field. The question is, do I leave it on the field or do I Synchro into Charge Warrior? If I Synchro into Charge Warrior, I want to I wanna discard a Maxi to keep a Camellia for follow-up. The, the thing is, if I keep Camellia on the board, it's a lot of interruptions. Theoretically, it can be. Because, like, they summon, my Camellia brings back Camellia, then that foolish is Mole Cricket. If they go to the extra deck, Mole Cricket comes back, I can, you know, you, you know where this is going, right? So... Uh, what if I... Answer is always Gamba. Well, I mean, like, drawing one with Charge Warrior, even if it is a runic, isn't even that crazy. Like, I make Charge Warrior, and then I, like, can't even synchro with it. I think it's this. You have two maxi, and you have not listened. Um, I think it's Camellia. This could also bait a called by before Maxi, which is interesting. <laughs> More cricket. The next deck after the third game is Earthbound Dude, this is not a spinning wheel stream. Why, why are you deciding what I'm playing all of a sudden? <laughs> Democracy? I don't know about that.
<laughs> Twitch chat and not twisting the words in my mouth. The challenge impossible. Goodbye, Baron the Flare. It's been real. How do we, everyone, how does everyone open Unicorn plus Fenrir? How does, how do they do that? It's Snake Eyes? That doesn't, that doesn't answer my question. So you discarded one for one for Diabell Star? Was that an accident? Did they want to normal summon it? Maybe they wanted to normal summon it. Uh Smile. Use Tomahawk, smile. Discard the Mac T, Josh. You have two Mac T. Discard it. <laughs> they did have an outfit. Okay. Whatever. You sound more and more like Farfa. Look, it is tribe it, it is driving me a little bit mad. When I sit here Wait, okay. Uh they have original still. I might still lose, unironically. It's actually, uh... What is this hand? If I negate and destroy Snake Eye Ash, they can original summon Oak into Flamberge. That kind of fucks me still. Uh... Dude, how is it Unicorn Ash Diabell Star? One for one, Imperm. Cross out. Uh, I go Sunflower here, destroy this. They go into Oak and cook me. If I don't, though... If I don't negate this, they just go Poplar, Poplar, Field Spell. They can, I mean... I must. I must. I don't think it's enough. I think we lose to the to the original, yeah. Wait, what? Why did you send the monster? Poplar? Huh? And now what?
He makes combo when you summon. Watch what happens when I summon. And they use their temple to special. Let's see what happens. Let's see who, who ends up on top, chatter. Let's see what happens if they use this temple now. If they want to... Let's go. Use your temple. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Do it. Temple. Temple. Yeah, that's right. That's what happens. If they use temple there, they completely die. I activate Max C. They summon Flamberge. My Camellia triggers. I bring back Mole Cricket. Mole Cricket activates. They have the biggest monster on the field because they bring out the Flamberge. I, I get two Naturias from deck. I don't even have to tribute my Mole Cricket because I have Camellia. They just combo on your turn, they said, dude. Come on, man. You guys talk like you know nothing about Naturia Runic. You guys talk like you are our top four opponents at Master Duel Worlds. That's how you guys are acting. As if you've never seen an Aturia card in your life before. It's actually crazy. Don't put the smiles in chat when I draw Sunflower every time. Don't do that. I love this deck, man. Deck is too powerful. Not even the sunflower can stop me. Poke too soon, maybe. It's 
a little weird. I actually don't want to add fountain here. I don't want to add fountain here. I should have slumbered first. Because if I add fountain, I can't discard sacred tree anymore. Because fountain's limited for some reason. Yeah. Draw phase? Yeah, this should have been draw phase. That's that's one thing I'm missing about Master Duel. I feel like they should add... Okay, that's actually... That turns out okay. Uh, they should add an option to have toggle on from the first second of the game. Like, when you load into it. Because sometimes I draw my hand and I don't think about toggling on instantly. There is one? Oh, I didn't know that. How does that work? Which one is that? Uh, check custom. Okay, I'm not gonna do that now, but like I'll I'll look at that after this game. Remind if I don't forget. Okay, dude, you're very good at this game. It's fairly new. Okay, that makes sense. Then why I wouldn't know. Uh, this would be completely fine if we didn't have Sunflower in hand. If this was like a real Yu-Gi-Oh card. What I have to do now is disgusting. I have to like blessing special sunflower from hand. It's actually disgusting gameplay. This way, uh, this way they can't ash my maxi. Maybe I should shotgun it. I don't know. There's a lot of cash tier cards, but okay. Poplar, poplar effect. Nah. Mill, no runic and another blessing mill. That's pretty bad. Or. Sick. I have no idea why that's their play. When, uh... I have no idea why that's their play when... No. Oh, how do I do this? If I go... Try Edge. That disables my own Sunflower. Well, I guess it makes Talon's life because they're going to use Temple and I can try Max see them. Just Pass? I don't think Just Pass is the play. Maybe it is? Maybe Just Passing is fine. They couldn't play last turn. Their best normal summon was apparently Poplar. What happens if I charge warrior? They have guaranteed follow-up. Uh, if they summon, I draw for Maxi. I draw two for Talents. I draw one for charge warrior. I'm going to have four cards in hand. That seems pretty good too. They imperm and pop off. They could have imperm last turn. I think the set is more likely to be called by. So I'm going to play into it. 
Royal Triage. If, if it was imperm, they could have impermed my sunflower. Um, so I'm going to assume it's not imperm. I'm going to assume it's called by. I think that makes more sense. If it is imperm, it's not called by. Apparently. That's fine, though. Uh, do I have freezing curses? I mean, they didn't have a starter. I think I have freezing curse. Not use the spelling here. Uh, okay. Even if they have a hand trap for this, we have another runic. They don't. Okay. What is this? What is this card? Yeah, okay. We win. Um... I'll look at the hand. <laughs> okay. Um... That's birth. Uh, I have no mole cricket in the graveyards, but I'm also running out of targets for mole crickets. I know. It must be, yeah, okay. They must have been playing, um, Silvera, right? That must have been it. That's the... Oh, oh I can't check. Well. Uh, let us play something different. What do we play? What was the second option on the poll that lost to Naturia Runic? Oh, yeah, the settings. Sky Striker? Well, what was it? Sky Striker? I don't want to play Sky Striker. <laughs> Uh, game settings dual. Uh, activation confirmation custom. Let's you set okay. And where do I set it? Oh, here. Show switch button on. At the beginning of the dual, confirm activation. Okay, nice. Reset activation confirmation settings. Leaves the setting for activation confirmation at the end of the turn unchanged. Uh, okay. Hold left button. Hold right. Yeah, okay. That's perfect. Good. Uh, and now we pull... Uh, now we pull Ash. Skip magic? Skip magic! So did it work or did it not work? I feel like that's a didn't work situation. Guaranteed Ash in the next 10? Well, we can't afford 10 right now, so we have to keep playing. Did we, did we get tickets already? Oh, we do have. Okay.
I want to talk about it. So what do we play? Stun, let's go. There's no way I'm playing stun. There's no way I'm playing stun. Striker. It's so bad though. Oh, <laughs> uh, sure. Play a regional deck. Uh, the Snake Eye Sky Striker. It's missing some important cards, but technically you can. Stardust Runic? Hmm. It's missing Bonfire, then what? I mean, Bonfire is pretty important. Oh, no. Uh-oh. All right, lean back. We've asked for this by going blind second. Can you stop spamming the copy pasta, please? This is a uh, family-friendly Twitch chat. So they summon this guy from the graveyard, and then you can special two resonators from deck. What the hell is even that? Red zone. Okay. I'm, a, I'm slightly confused. Only slightly. That's not going to work. 
the way you think it does. Wait, it does? Why does it still banish? Banish this Oh, it says also. Okay, it does work the way it does. Never mind. I lied. Yeah. <laughs> I misread. I did lie. Yeah, I did lie. Uh, I mean, what's the point of getting engaged here? What if I get talents? And just take it. Oh, no, it, it was main phase. Oh, thank God I didn't take talents. Oh, God. Um, maybe it's just Afterburner? Afterburner, make Kaina, don't use effect, activate Afterburner, destroy this thing. Oh, can't be destroyed by card effects? Okay, good thing. Good thing I read that. Dude, nothing makes sense! It all sucks. How do I out this shit? Hamp? I don't think I play Hamp anymore, do I? I feel like I take I took it out eventually. Um I know. I guess I'll activate it. <laughs> Good thing I did. Now I could have, um, now I could have balanced it, but. Yeah, I don't play that thing anymore. I guess I grab multi-roll. Make Kagari. Let's check if they banish it. No, even worse. They ghost ogre. Phenomenal gameplay. Okay, cool. You know, that ghost ogre would have actually been pretty good on the Kaina. <laughs> That would have gone pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. Now I have three spells. So now I can just take it. Fine. Do I? Do I dark it?
How does this work? You can activate this effect, banish this card once per turn during your next end phase after this card was banished by its own effect. No, they get it back though. They get it back if I if I dark it. It doesn't come back. During your next end phase. No, it it I think it does come back. I'm not sure. I'll just make Zeke. I'm not sure. Steal, but don't use the effect. Well, then I have a locked extra monster zone. I don't want that. How many spells in my grave? Five. I'll just set the Widow Anchor. The Engage I can grab in their end phase. Bum, 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 ba, dum, bum, bum, ba, da, dum, bum. Can't they revive it with the trap? Yeah, if I if I summon it and then banish it, yes. But now it's in the graveyard, so now no. That's why this is also better, probably. I'm not reading all that. I'm taking it. Do you think they play Fiendish Chain? They're adding Fiendish Golem with Crimson Gaia. There's no way they play Fiendish Chain. I refuse to believe. Why did they add that one specifically? Why not like Vision Resonator? Get Maxied. Or not. Or just don't get max seed. It's fine. It's whatever, man. Uva loop. Oh, that's so, that's so good for them. That's so good, because they, they can bring this guy back. Uh-oh. Fine, Ray will save us. How will we defeat their big ass guy? I am not sure yet. I really am not sure yet. <laughs> we get we talk about that when we when we, you know, later.
need to get rid of that shit. Now they can finish golem this if they want to, but it's not very good. Okay, cool. They waited so long for this moment. Finally, banish a Kagari. <laughs> they didn't even think about whether it was worth it. They were like, I'm going to do it eventually. It's going to happen. Believe me. <laughs> this deck is very annoying. <laughs> it is very annoying. I'm out of Kagaris. That's a problem. That's not going to make it easier. The upstart. That's good. Stop with the pasta! Mm, linkage is pretty dead without striker links, so let's get rid of that. Activate thrust. Set. Engage. How many anchors do I still have? None. Is it worth banishing Bone Archfiend immediately? I think so, right? I think we win now because we i mean they're on six thousand, and i just go engage chain widow anchor engage searches on normal summon and we just punch him oh uh please tell me i can link these two off okay Least scuffed Sky Striker win. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, we got tickets. Let's see what we're going to pull from the tickets. Apparently, we're pulling crazy stuff from the tickets. Five more of these tickets. These tickets are insane. Where are they?
Oh yeah. Psychic Rover, yes, finally. Oh. Dude, we're high rolling. First of all, what are the odds for that? Second of all, even if it's incredibly unlikely, it still doesn't do anything because they're both... It's just bad. Can you dismantle these? Kick W as if... As if... There's legitimately one card in this pack that would be nice to pull, and that's this guy. Um, because I have one that I crafted. So if I pull one that I, that I can't dismantle, I can, I can dismantle my other one. Uh, unfortunately, I have three copies of Super Dimensional Robot Galaxy Destroyer, but haven't gotten the Gear Freed, so. Unfortunate. Let's do the Legacy Packs too while we're at it. Let's do all the frustration in one sitting. Where is that? Uh, bonus pack. Insane. Dude, can you just climb the Duelist Cup with any deck? I mean, we just ranked up with Sky Striker, so... Those are cards. Normal summon first, by the way, so that I could have chained effect Veiler if I had it, just to give me the option. Actually, very nice of them. Normal summon... Then, ch then shifter is crazy behavior. Well, the problem is under shifter, we can't really get spell cards into the graveyard, so we can't really do anything under shifter. Uh, I mean, we can even lead them, and then they still have an Arise Heart, and then we lose to that Arise Heart. So, I don't know. We'll see. Still playing Zeus? Uh, I think we took out Zeus. Yeah, we took it out. The fact that you open Shifter and then still play into Nibiru is wild to me. Uh, yeah.
<laughs> my favorite top deck. That would have actually fucked them, by the way, with the way they played. Normal summon, the thing, chain shifter, I actually could have bailered them. But now it's too late. Have I have drawn Hornet drones every game so far? I don't know if I I don't know if shotgun and maxi is even correct. Probably not. It's probably not right. Well. Why not? Because I think it's not... I mean, they have call play anyways, but they, like, could have... Uh, they could have just passed, and it wouldn't have been that bad for them. Gamma is another reason. Uh, another reason is I could have potentially forced the uh, called by with my effect veiler. Right? Well, they normal summon Diabell Star. Okay, that should probably just die to Veiler. Can't you OTK with they when they when, Hornet drones is not OTK. No, in what world? Uh, this game is gonna be so annoying. Uh, what if I after burn into the switch and make talents live? Thoughts. Thoughts? Okay. Noted. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for them. All right, draw two with talents. That puts another spell in the grave and then see where we can go with Hornet Drones, depending on what the set is. Oh. Is that another deck with Solemn Judgment in it? It could be Silvera. Oh, it's Silvera. Okay, that's fine. Sure. What's the other set? Uh, original, right? Yeah, it's original.
Do I throw it in the graveyard? Uh, I do have. Oh, wait. Wait. Normal summon, dark. Take Diabell Star. Make Selene. Bring back Effect Veiler. Make Access Code. Pop both of these. Yeah. All right. It it doesn't have. It doesn't have any. This line has no follow up. This line has no follow-up. What I could do instead is I could also make Azalea because I have enough spells so it doesn't die. So I can just Azalea pop the birth and then go Shizuku. That seems better. Oh. Because we do need follow-up. I think we're going to be surviving this next turn. Uh, we have Widow Anchor plus Nibiru, but we definitely need follow-up. So, I think we have to, like... What are we... What do we even grab here? We can't grab Engage. Is it just Linkage as another way? I mean, we have Ray in the graveyard now, which maybe we can protect. Um... Shark cannon. There's no real point with shark cannoning something. Multi roll. Go multi roll. Yeah, they put the Silvera back to draw a card. Fire Bell Star in hand, special unicorn. Yeah. Do they play Theosis? No, right? They just don't have a target for that. I don't think. Have you tried drawing better? I heard that is something highly skilled. <laughs> I mean, I don't think our draw this game was bad. I think it's okay. The position is fine still. I don't think we can complain about our draws here. I mean, we're playing Sky Striker. So if anything, that's the problem. Not the way we're drawing. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Is it? I mean, yeah, not that annoying. Okay, the master class bait. <laughs> okay, all right, cool. <laughs> oh man so summon poplar activate poplar what is this line that they're taking I'm so confused if this was snake eye ash I would have definitely widow anchored it but now that it's not Snake Eye Ash, do I even care about Poplar? Did they just grab the field spell or what? Should 
Sure, go ahead. Subversion to Shizuku? I mean, the thing is, my Shizuku, if, I, if they play into Nib, my Shizuku is gone anyways. No, it's the Vine Temple, yeah. I don't want to lose my Kagari. You trigger the field here? I know, I know. But I I need my engage next turn. Now main phase two, unless th th there's there's I don't know if we can lose this, because they would have to in order to prevent my Nibiru, they would have to go. Um, Appaloosa first action, um, which doesn't really do anything. Like, if they go Appaloosa first action, what do they do after? Because this is not game. I guess they could Apple with everything but Snake Eye Ash. Nice. All according to plan. And now we just multi-roll this Nibiru. And uh, we engage. We're the best. That's why I grabbed multi-roll last turn. I was investing into the future. Uh, let's get Rose. We already have Ray. Yeah. I think I played two Afterburner. I'm probably going to go for Afterburner here. Oh, 
Shark Cannon. Do I still have... I have Hita. I can go for the access code play now. With Shark Cannon into Hita. I don't think it's worth it though. Because I already have... I have Afterburner. To pop this. And... Um, the field spell, the field spell, no, Silvera. Ah, Silvera is dead. Unless they draw die wells, that's that's sort of field spell. Uh, I don't think this is game, is it? Hita takes Selene. I mean, access code is just 53, it's not game. I'm going to activate this this turn anyways, because I want to just banish stuff. I'm going to banish Oak. Banish Oak? No. And then reset it with... Um, Multi-roll. This... End phase... Multi-roll. Set Widow Anchor. Set Shark Cannon. Um, set Engage. No. Shizuku. I'm thinking about banishing one more card from the graveyard with Shark Cannon. Um, the question is, what do I banish? Maybe the Link Aribo so they can't dodge my... Yeah, I like that. Let's banish the Link Aribo so they can't dodge my Widow Anchor with that shit. Get rid of that shit. Get out of here. No. Okay. Dude, this deck does not keep up well with the grind game of these decks from these this year, man. Like, it's like, we're fighting so hard, man. And it's just like, they have so much follow-up every turn anyways, dude. The things I need to do to even have the slightest chance here is like, it's disgusting, man. Because even if, if I Widow Anchor here and I take it, I legit die if they have Diabell Star. I might die if they have Diabell Star. That's how bad it is. I, I still have to take it, though, I think. Actually, no, I don't, because they've already used the original. Oh, they drew Diabell Star. Oh, sick. Okay. Uh, okay. Am I just dead? Probably, right? Maybe not? Depends on the card in hand, I think. This is what I meant, by the way, when I said they should hit Wanted, because Wanted is so much better than having Diabell Star. 
because they drew Di they drew wanted twice this game. If that if those had been Diabell Star, he would have two less cards. He just draw he just drew two cards for no reason in this game. Dude, we fought so hard, man. Oh, we live because they are okay. Cool. Uh, don't think it matters. Are they not playing Axis Code Talker? Surely. What are you doing, man? You have one attribute in the graveyard. Why didn't you go Promethean? That was crazy. I don't know what to tell you about that game. I don't know what to tell you. All right. 
add one pot of avarice for grind games you mean as like a target for thrust maybe it's maybe not the worst idea i've i've tried playing pot of avarice in sky striker before but like i never liked playing multiples because it's like so bad early on but maybe like one for uh thrust is okay It appears that they are playing around uh, Nibiru. How many thrusts? I'm playing three thrusts. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Oh, seven. Uh, might have to crash into that. Nice evenly. Oh my god, dude. Please prevent it. Please. Please. No. I might activate it just to go... I might just Azalea the token. Uh, not Azalea. I might just um, Zeke the token. Yeah. I could also dark. No point. Camellia, no. Is there a point? No. Come on, it's a big token. You want to save it. Save your token. Please. Please. Come on, come on. Please, Valor the Zeke. Valor the Zeke. Oh. I can't, the suspense. No, oh, Wailer the Zeke, please. Oh.
No, they didn't veil her to see. Damn it. The problem is now they don't have a monster anymore. Maybe I should have made Shizuku first. Just let the tokens be there. Uh... Draw two or look at their hand. I can't get engaged with thrust. I, they don't have a monster. I have to set the card with it. Okay, they don't have a hand trap. That's good to know. I'll set engage for next turn and look at their hand. I was checking for Ash before, but... Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just brick. Just brick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah? Is that pro is that is that a problem? Oh, that gets... That's full combo. That's full combo. That's so fucked. That's so fucked. If they go Hita, that's full combo. Or or Dark. Because Promethean brings back a Snake Eye. That's so... Oh my god, that's so messed up, man. Bro, do the play! Hello? Why did it have to be Jet Synchron, man? Why couldn't it be like a dead card, dude? Oh. <laughs> yeah, finally, we figured it out, surely. Ah. Ah. Yes. Ah. Yes. Dude. Is this rocket science?
This way he dies to Nib a second time. Yeah, we needed to we needed to lose to Nibiru again. What are you doing? I'm staying because they might time out. Now it's not game anymore. You have got to be kidding me, man. There's no way, man. That's crazy. That's that that is crazy that that happened right now. That's insane that that just happened. That's wild. There's no shot, dude. Is there a point in going Hita? I don't think so. I think it's just... Oh, we don't have Zeke anymore. Oh, that's not good. Uh, that's not great. Mm. I have to go heat now. Just to be able to use the engage. I might not use the heat now. I might just grab Widow Anchor and, and well, Vibe. Take, uh, I can take their Hita and make my own access code, but then like, I mean. That's important. I can make access code just because it's big enough to attack for game next turn. Um, I could also just wait though. I swear, if they draw Diabell Star, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind, dude.
if, if this is Diabell Star and they're waiting this long to use it, I'm calling the police. It can't, it, there's no way it's a good card. <laughs> it's maxi oh god okay Oof. Oof. <laughs> we don't even need that we don't even need that i'll do it anyways You ever seen this? You ever seen this technology? Yup. There's no way this deck should ever be beating Snake Eyes, by the way. Oh, that was smart. It's still game, but that was smart. Unless they have another Poplar, then they actually live, which is fucked up. But until they summon this shit in attack position. <laughs> Why did you summon it? Oh my god. This, this is not a real human being. There's no way, man. Nah, this is a bot. This is a bot. There's no way. You can't not. Nah. This, this does not even count. This does not even count as a win, dude. They tried so hard to lose that. That was crazy. There's no way that's real. Nah, man. Nah. Oh, God. I don't know if it's a YouTube game. Nice. Nice evenly that I have. Nice double evenly that I have. Thick. Love that for me. I cannot play the game.
What just happened? Whatever, man. Just give me Ray. Eh, that counts. I'm Loki. I'm thinking about just making Shizuku searching double engage and passing and hoping I live with the maxi that I have. It's very risky, but it might be what I need to do in this matchup. That's fine. Dude, they drew two ash, they milled one ash. What's going on? That's fine though. That that's that's uh that at least doesn't ash my engage then. It's a shame I couldn't go Hayate because of the maxi. Come on, I let you maxi me too. It's just fair. Let me have one. Chain super poly. This card, e what is this deck, man? Dude, cause they're both water. Okay, this one's actually good. <laughs> Number three is actually good. <laughs> oh, God, dude. This is not real. Um, I kind of want a third spell in the graveyard before I engage, though. So I think I'm going to go Widow Anchor this, this true, though. Can't we go lethal? Uh, Widow Anchor, then Afterburner, pop this and the set card, engage. I don't see it. Maybe? How many spells? One, two, three, four, five. Engage for linkage, but I don't have. No, I don't think so. I don't think it is. 
I don't, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste time on it. I'm just gonna do uh, the safe play, quote unquote. I know that I can't target Mud Dragon. None of what I said included targeting Mud Dragon. I think because they have Mud Dragon, I'm going to take Shark Cannon. Because Widow Anchor, they can play around anyways. Oh, thank you for activating Mud Dragon. It's funny because they just activated it because they didn't want to be asked every time. They just wanted to avoid the toggle thingy every time, which is uh, very funny if you ask me. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. They might kill with slash draw. <laughs> Don't say that. Nice. Okay. All right. We did make duelist level 17 with Sky Striker. Phenomenal. <laughs> uh, do we have a thousand? No, not even close. Or maybe with the thingies? No. We're not even close to a thousand. Well, we're going single packs for the Ash. Don't try this at home, by the way, but it works every time. Nah. No more streamer luck? Maybe. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I can't believe this would happen to me. There's a guaranteed ultra? I mean, I'm gonna get it eventually. I'm gonna wait until I have a thousand. Uh, so the thing is, the thing is, chat, we're going to stop at stage 17 for today um, because Farfa asked me if I wanted to do, if I wanted to do a race from 17 to 20 tomorrow. So we're just going to, we're just going to stop the Duelist Cup here. 
Uh, we can still play. We just we can just keep playing ranked for a little bit. But um, we're gonna do seventeen to twenty tomorrow. The duality of Josh wants to wait until one k and spends it all on single packs. Yeah, you know sometimes you just gotta sometimes you just gotta open some packs. You know, what have we not played today? Um, let's play the Earthbound. Stun? I know we haven't played stun yet, but that's not gonna change. Stun is here as an option to farm subs during the wheel stream. That's what stun is here for. It's not for casual, ranked, enjoyment gameplay kind of thing. <laughs> Is that UA sleeves? I have never seen these. Oh, of yeah, okay. I hate Super Heavy Samurai so much, man. Whenever I queue Runic Earthbound, I just lose every single coin flip. It was the same time, it was the same when I tried it for the first time. This deck is cursed. What do you hate more, Math Mech or Super Heavy? Ah, uh, they're pretty equally bad. Mr. Streamer, how many subs to play stun? Pause champ. Um <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to. <laughs> the number is not one. Ah, easy. Just say 50? Nah, that's just unreasonable, dude. That's just unreasonable. What about runic stun? Oh, now, okay, now we're meeting in the middle, is what you're saying. <laughs> we're meeting in the middle, I see. All right, 10 and we'll play stun until the end of the stream. Now you got the number, which is about 30 minutes. That's a long time. Why is it specifically imperm when this is my hand? That's one game of stun. Oh, no, it's not. It is not one game of stun. Why did I go for Hugin? I don't have a line here. Because it was specifically Imperm and no other hand trap. I just have nothing here. I would need... If I had a second runic, it'd be pretty solid. However, I do not. Barto, thank you for the prime. See, now no one wants to sub because no one wants to see stun. What a cursed... What a cursed... Uh... You guys are cursed. Oh. Oh? Um... 
I'm not gonna ash the stone sweeper. <laughs> okay. I'm not surprised that not Math Mech Circular is gifting five subs towards the stun goal. I'm not surprised that you have no taste in what's good Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, okay, dude, we're playing stun. God damn. Stalling this game to prevent stun? I'm, it's not even my turn. I'm not thinking. They're thinking. Don't blame me for it. Oh, that's a nice vision resonator. I want that. Dude, they got everything. We just lose, I'm pretty sure. No matter where I ash. I should have just summoned Gary though. First turn. It was summon Gary, just don't get fountain. We lose anyway, so scoop and play stun. That's what I would do if I would want to maximize the time that I'm playing stun for. You know? Okay, so now this can't activate. Would you just not care about this effect or what? <laughs> Trafalgar, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Okay, hot red, and then they can activate it. And then I ash it, and then hopefully I live. Okay, no, actually not. Is there a world where we can win if we just don't die this turn? If I draw like a runic and then I have like fountain runic talents? I don't know what they're ending on to be fair. Oh, not that pattern, this pattern. Okay, summon that back. I mean, we're not dead yet. Uh, now we might be dead. Dude, we lose? To Red Dragon Archfiend. Because it's going to attack and destroy all my defense position monsters. And then these three can attack directly. That's wild. My opener was pretty bad though. I played it bad. I didn't think about it. Because we were deba debating stun. For some reason again. <laughs> I'm blaming chat. 100 off? 
Uh, 67. Oh, yeah, it is 79 this way, right? Now, come on. I want to play stun. No, I don't. Actually, take your time. Now, what, are they, what actually are they doing? Like, what is taking them so long? I don't understand. Now it's game. Yes, thank you. Okay. You figured it out. Well done. Sick. Very proud of you. Okay. Is there a universe where you would ever revisit Libromancer? Uh, maybe the problem is that a lot of them are actually ultra rare and I don't have all of them in Mass of Duel. And I, it's not, it's like, if I had all the cards, then maybe, but like, I don't really want to craft them at this point in time. Would you play a stun deck? I would never do such a thing. Sick. Bro, I didn't. Oh, who said that thirty minutes of stun is one stun game? Who said that? They didn't even wait for the floodgate. They didn't even wait to see if I had it. I didn't have it. I have it now. Ah, that's annoying. Anyways. Super every samurai, man. They got no outs, dude. All we need is the one moon mirror shield on that shit, and it's Jover, dude. They are all monsters. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> you enjoy this too much? I do enjoy it when it's against Super Heavy Samurai. Because I hate Super Heavy Samurai with a passion, dude. Okay, now they Ash. Well... <laughs> this is the type of content I came for? Now that's crazy. That's a crazy thing to say. Is, uh, is Soul Piercer the biggest normal summon that they have? How big is Scales? Oh, Wagon is 1,200 too. I'm just thinking if I should um, put the Patchy to the fence, probably. Jaugen. Alright, well... Wait, we lose. We don't have protection engine. We're out of protection engine. We actually lose. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay. They don't know. Eh? That was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. We got high rolled. We drew no protection engine and we got Ash two times. It's by a stupid meta player, dude. I hate meta players so much. Stupid meta sheep. They don't know how much skill it takes to normal summon Apache Cephalosaurus. They don't understand what I've been through. Ah, another meta abuser. <laughs> That's the spirit. We do have stun engine plus protection engine. Uh oh. Send birth for original. O oh, cage. Um, interesting. I this might. Be beatable? Question mark? I'm not sure. I hope they draw face max see me, so I don't have to worry about the card in there. Snake Eye Burge! That's sus behavior. Why would you send the link, Rebo? Mm, Joe. They probably have a second Ash in hand. It could also be Maxi, because I think if you have Ash and Maxi, you can still normal summon Maxi to make Baron. Right? Like, uh, Maxi is pretty much the same likelihood. It could also be anything. Maybe they just wanted to normal summon it as a tuner. 
to make Baron before comboing. Would Maxi be even worse if it was a tuner? Uh, I don't think that would matter that much. I mean, it would make it even better technically, but I don't think that would be the main reason why it would be a problem. Like, it would be even more of an obnoxious card, but... No. The problem is that they already have Flambert on the field. That's annoying for this deck because, like, it can out my uh, my Floodgate engine. It outs my Floodgate engine, Chad, which is not good. Attack over it? I mean, yeah. But the Baron is also a problem. Okay, there goes that problem. They can add bad Ash, though. That's a problem. That's another problem. Yep. That's a big problem. So far, I still think we're fine unless they have Imperm. Because we can go... We can out the Baron? Somewhat. It's, it's, it's Octus. Ah. Oh, they have Imperm too. Yeah. Oh my. They definitely have Imperm. You see the animation is uh, the animation is is critical to this to the success. My my best bet is that they negate this with Baron. Then we can win. Which would be a horrible play for them. Why did I sign up for this? This deck sucks. Why don't you guys just sub to support the channel? Why is it always... Why is it this? <laughs> Okay, surely this time.
There's no way we lose this. If they normal summon a Marin says, I'm gonna cry. Nope. Um, I think so. No. I do not consent to the called by the grave. It's Jover. The protection engine is online. No. Ha! A bluff. I knew it. I've seen through your bluff. Meta Andy. That's right. That's right. That's right. Like a true stun, Andy. I'm going to set main phase one before attacking. <laughs> Are you this good? I don't know. It just comes natural to me, honestly. I couldn't even tell you how. Bring this to worlds? <laughs> How many subs? <laughs> I'm joking.
we can do one more easily. We have time. We can fit one more. No, we won the coin flip. We lost the coin flip. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Am I supposed to shift her immediately? Eh, I'll shift her. Whatever. It ain't that deep. Just drop the shifter. Yeah, cool. It ain't that deep. Just drop it. <laughs> They're like, wait a minute. My deck doesn't do anything. Under shifter. Is shifter part of the stun engine? Shifter is... Um, shifter is part of the. I I I I don't have a answer. For, I don't know. It's a combo piece. Yeah, it's a combo piece. Okay, we do not have our stun engine. Besides, there can be only one, which means we probably lose the game. Uh, we need punishment. Quite literally. Uh... Shifter. <laughs> Shifter is an engine requirement, yeah. Uh, do I even need this? No. I don't think evenly for one is worth it because they just banish the ash and keep the field spell and it doesn't do anything. I have better chances at resolving evenly for two. All right, cool. All right, we can do one more. We can do one more. That was fast. Morganite was the play. Oh yeah, if we had taken Morganite, we would not have died there. Absolutely. Absolutely true. You're so smart. Golganda protects? Wait, Golganda protects from that? I didn't know that. I would have activated it if I knew. Dude, why is it always Moon Mirror Shield, but never a monster? What do you mean, Diet Bell Star discard Vakaushi? Huh? What?
So... Why didn't they start with Bakaoshi? Nah, we lose anyways. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay, well... There's your stun gameplay. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> one more? We did one more three times! We won more three times? Nah, it's it. Nah, nah, you're gaslighting me. You're gaslighting me. I, I will not be gaslit. I will not be gaslit. No. No. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be it for the day. I need to get going. I need to get going because we have plans for dinner. Uh, I'll send you guys to Mr. Farfa. Actually, I'll send you to Quantal. Quantal is streaming. I'll send you to Quantal, my uh, fellow world champion. Uh, I'll send you to Quantal. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the follows, all the subs, all the good stuff. Appreciate you guys for being here. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Say hello to Quantal for me. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Also, stay tuned uh, for the YouTube channel later because I'm uploading my deck profile from last week's regional. This Guy Striker Snake Eye is going to go up on YouTube today. So, uh, exclamation mark YouTube if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube yet. All that good stuff. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, everybody. See you. Thanks for watching. Peace.